So this video is on a chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are on dot products. On, we are on a series of videos where we are doing a couple of proofs. <clears throat> okay, so in this video we are asked to prove that uh, u times v equals v times u, meaning the vector inner product the dot product is commutative. Okay, this is a really easy and quick proof. So the proof is really easy. U times V by definition is the sum from I equals one to N of UI times VI. And of course, UI and VI, they are in the argument of the sum. So they are commutative. So this is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of vi times ui and this is the definition of the product of vector v times vector u so u times v equals v times u and that concludes the proof now we are asked to prove that u times u is greater or equal to 0 and this is very important u times inner product u equals 0 if and only if u is 0. So the only way you have to the dot product to get 0 on the dot product of a vector by itself is if u is 0. That's the only way you have to get 0 here. This is very important for metric spaces, beginning of analysis courses, when you get the definition of a norm and absolute values. This is very important and very used. Okay, so the proof is, let us pick this u times u. What is u times u? Inner product u. Well, that's the sum of the product of the components. So that will be u times u, u1 times u1, plus u2 times u2, plus till un times un. Well, but these are numbers. u1 times u1 is u1 squared. u2 times u2 is u2 squared. un times un is un squared. So a square number can only be positive or zero if u1 is zero. u2 can only be square number so it can only be positive or zero if u2 is zero. So this will be greater, this will be positive or will be zero. Okay so this one is proved. Okay okay let us see now this one. Okay, so how can u times u be zero? Well, the only possibility that u times u is zero, since u times u is this, is u1 times u1, u2 times u2, plus un times un. Um, So that will be u1 squared, u2 squared, un squared. How can this be 0? Only if this number is 0, this number is 0, this number is 0. It's the only possibility, right? So um, u times u will be 0. Um, if and only if all the components of vector u are zero okay for all i's okay so meaning this means that u is if the components if all the components of vector u are zero it means that we are this is vector zero okay so this one is proved <laughs> 